In 1972, French astrophysicist Pierre Lena began preparing for the upcoming eclipse. This was to be one of the longest in history, with a duration of over seven minutes. An eclipse this long wouldn't happen for another 200 years, so he was eager to make the most of it. He was particularly interested in observing the sun's corona, the area of hot gas where the temperatures shoot from 5,000 degrees to over 1 million degrees. The corona is usually invisible from Earth, but during an eclipse, the sun disappears and the corona lights up. But even during an eclipse, studying the corona is difficult since clouds and the Earth's atmosphere get in the way. And so for the 1973 eclipse, Pierre wanted to step things up a notch. And so Pierre asked legendary Concorde test pilot André Turcat if he could use Concorde to chase down the eclipse and fill the plane with science equipment. Aerospatial, the French side of Concorde, were excited about the idea and let him use prototype 001 for the flight, with Turcat piloting the aircraft. Although there were faster planes around, none of them could match the endurance or cabin space of Concorde. Pierre and Turcotte got to work coming up with a flight plan that would maximize their time in the moon's shadow. Before we look at how the flight worked, we need to understand the basic principles of solar eclipses. An eclipse happens when the moon passes in front of our view of the sun, blocking out its light and casting a large shadow over Earth. Most parts of the shadow will only experience a partial eclipse, but at the very center of the shadow is a much smaller area where the sun is fully blocked. This is where the total eclipse happens.